Hey guys, this is Lee with Hooked on Bass, and, and today I am going to show you one of the most versatile knots that you need to know how to tie. It's very easy. If you're gonna teach your kid a knot to tie, this is the one you're gonna show them because it, it's so versatile. You can use it with so many things, all right? As you get more experience, there's some knots that are gonna work a little bit better, but um, this one you can do with almost any bait if you want to, okay? And it's great for beginners and it's great for kids also. And I still use that on all my moving baits. So, if I wanna throw a swim bait, I'm tying the Palomar knot, okay? I'm gonna put floor covering on this because I want it to get down its subsurface. If I'm gonna throw the best, awesome early spring lure, I mean, this is the best, I'm telling you, wherever you are, you wanna know, or you wanna have a DT Demon 6 um, in your tackle box, but I'm gonna tie fluorocarbon and I'm gonna tie the Palomar knot. If I'm gonna do a jerk bait, I'm gonna tie the Palomar knot and I'm gonna have fluorocarbon on it. And if I'm gonna do the whopper plopper, I'm gonna use a monofilament leader and I'm also gonna tie the Palomar knot, all right? Any kind of moving spinner bait, that's another great one. Any moving bait that you cast out and reel in, if you're power fishing, you're gonna wanna do the Palomar knot, okay? So, let's pick my favorite lure right now. My favorite one, I, I gotta go back to the DT Demon 6, okay? For the purpose of the video, I would not usually do braid, but I think that you guys are gonna be able to see the braid a little bit better. I wouldn't, I'd probably not do 50 pound test either, um, but I'm gonna just do that right quick, all right? So, we're gonna take it, the line, okay? And we're gonna take it through the split ring. All right, and then we're gonna take it back through the split ring, all right? So what you guys are gonna have is a loop and the tag end. It always gets more confusing with the hooks, all right? So if you can see that, you have a loop on one side and then you have the two pieces on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna come over here. And all I'm gonna do with this is make an overhand knot with these two things aligned. So I make an overhand knot, and I'm not gonna cinch this up yet. I'm gonna leave some space, okay? Now whatever you're using, whatever the lure is, take it through this loop right here that you created. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna take the lure and put it through the loop. And pull up. I always use my mouth when I'm doing my fishing line. Now you have all this junk right here, okay? And what you gotta do before, especially with monofilament and fluorocarbon, you wanna wet this down because the line gets hot as you're pulling it and it weakens it. So you wanna wet it down, lubricate it, and then pull it tight. I do it with braid also, um, just because it uh, cinches down better. So I'm gonna wet it with my mouth. all the way up, and then I'm gonna pull that main line and that tag in that I had earlier and just pull this down. Now the braid goes a little bit, the, the mono and the um, fluorocarbon are gonna go a little bit smoother, but the braid goes down a little bit rougher, okay? So then you have this tag end here. You're gonna pull that tight, and I am going to cut it. Boom one of the strongest and best knots that you can tie. Absolutely one of the best knots. Teach it to your kids, okay? So then they can start doing stuff on their own. This one is easier than tying your shoes, to be honest. Palomar knot, any moving bait, okay? Um, spinner bait, jerk bait, top water plug, okay? The line choice, that's up to you, but it is absolutely one of the best uh, strongest knots that you can tie and, um, you know, most versatile knots. You need to have this knot in your memory bank. And also remember, practice at home like you practice with fishing line, you practice with yarn, all right? Practice it because then when you get out on the lake, you're going to be able to do it fast and get back in the water when you have a break off or something like that, okay? And check your knot often. So, when I'm using like mono or fluorocarbon, after I've caught a couple fish, their sandpapery teeth rub right above the knot and it weakens it. So don't have any heartbreak, don't lose your lures, just retie. If you feel that it's been messed up or compromised, 
cut it off, retie, and just the more you do it, the better you're gonna get, but practice at home. And if you have a hard time seeing, I don't right now, thank God, but if you have a hard time seeing like my father, you're gonna to wanna to have your reading glasses or whatever you need to see up close to tie these knots with you out on the boat or if you're uh, on bank fishing, you're gonna to wanna to have your glasses with you so you can do that. Anyway, Palomar knot, check it out.